Hi, this is Cindy Shevley from the Web Seller Circle. An Amazon A store is a quick and simple way to have a store full of inventory without spending a dime. You can create them as standalone stores, a part of an existing website, or even as a page or link on a blog. Today I want to show you how to create an A store and link it from my blog, Photo Walks Today. So here it is, my Photo Walks blog. So let's get started. The first thing you want to do is head on over to Amazon.com and log in. Once you've logged in, you'll notice a gray bar across the top of any product that you might be interested in. You could add this uh, product to a widget or simply add it to an existing A store by clicking on Add to A Store. We haven't set up this A store yet, but you'll see that I do have some existing A stores that I could uh, link it to. If I just wanted to add it to this existing one, I just hit that Add to A store. But I want to show you how to start from the very beginning. So let's go and click on this A store link and create a new store. First thing I want to point out to you is that when you click on this, it'll show you your different A store URLs. And you can delete your stores, duplicate them, and look for invalid links. But let's go ahead and add a new A store. So it asks you how you want to track this so you know where your income is coming from. You may want to add a new tracking ID. And here I'll add my new tracking ID. Photo walks today and see if somebody else has used that. Nope, it's available. If it wasn't, they would recommend one that I could use. But it is, so let's just get continue. And now the process starts. You're first asked to make some decisions by clicking on those radio boxes. Hide the category navigation, mature content. Now, do I want to enable a link back to my site in the navigation? Well, yes, because I want people to go over, but if they don't want to see things, I want them to come back to my blog and look around. So I'm going to type in the name of the site and the URL of the blog. Now, if this was a standalone store, I would want to enable an About Me page and write that information. Once we have that set up, let's add a category page. Click on Add a Category page, and you'll notice that now I have a new category. We want to name this category, and I'm going to name it Camera Bags and Cases, and then write a quick description about the category. And I have two ways to add products. I could add an individual product, but you'll notice there's a drop-down menu. And I can add products from List Mania or from an Amazon category. If I choose the category, I click on Select a Category, and now all the Amazon categories pop up. And what I'll want to do is navigate through the different categories to find cameras and photos uh, and where the camera bags and cases might be stored. Well, here we are, camera bags and cases. Now you can see I have a whole bunch of choices here. Maybe I just want to take them all, all of those subcategories, and to do that I would just click on that include all subcategories. Now I can filter specifically what I want out of those categories by typing in a name. And in my case maybe I just want the low pro camera bags and I would just type that in. Then only low pro would show up in the search. But I don't want to, I don't want to filter it that much this time so I'm going to take that out and click save and Amazon will show all products in those categories. Now here are all my subcategories that we chose as well as the, the main category. So let's try adding another category page. Just click on Add Category and you see it showed up down there at the bottom. And now I want to type in the subcategory title. This one's going to be Tripods. And again just type in the title and a quick description. Now, the last time we grabbed products from a category, and the reason why I'm showing you this is there's another way to grab products from the Amazon catalog, 
and that's to add individual products. So I'm just going to click on Add Products, and you'll see a different kind of dialog box pops up here. Now I can search all of Amazon by products, let's say camera and photos, and then I could just type in tripods. If I knew exactly which one I wanted, I could put the ASON or ISBN number in, and it would bring back those specific items. But you see, I just typed in tripod, so I have kind of a generic list of items. And I would just hit the Add button here and add different products that I want to include in my store. So I'm just going to add a few more categories here, a few more items here to this category. And when I'm done, I will come on back and we'll continue on filling up our store. So I'm going to hit back to the category pages. And here we are back at the main control panel. And there's my tripods and monopods. Now if I didn't want it down at the very bottom of the list, I can move this around in, in any order I want by simply using these up and down arrows. You notice how it's moving up as I click the up button. So I can rearrange the sort order any way I'd like. Once you have all of the inventory you want, just click continue and finish setting up your store. Now here's what our store will look like. It's the usual Amazon colors. We can change the theme. There's a drop down menu. I'm just going to pick this first one. This is not bad, but maybe I want to change the background color to match my photo walks a little bit closer. So I'm going to change that color. Now the background's a little bit grayer. You can see here you can change font colors and type sizes and all sorts of different customizations. Go ahead and have fun. Rename your store. I don't think my associate store is all that interesting. You can also configure your own store header here if you want. You can customize it, make it look more like the look and feel of your website, tell Amazon where that JPEG is housed, and input that information here, and you can have a customized A store. Let's hit continue. Now we decide where we want the navigation. We, we want it on the left or the right hand side. And these are just radio button choices. Just pick one. And you also have all sorts of deci decisions here to make whether you want list mania, uh, similar items. Just pick the things that work the best for you. You can preview the store if you want. I'm just going to click on the Get Links, and here is the links. Now, it's a little bit confusing here which one we want. If you don't know, just click on Learn More to figure out which one will work for your particular needs. Now, for me, I'm just going to make a separate page on my website for this A store. So I'm just going to grab this URL and go over to photo walks today and log in. Once I've logged in, now I'm going to go to my links area and create a new link. Add new. I'm going to name my link. Shop the photo walk store is what I'm going to type in here. And here where it says web address, I'm going to paste in that code that Amazon gave me and then a little description of the link. Things that you want to take on the trek and then add the link. And with WordPress, that's all you have to do. Let's go take a look at our new Amazon A store. Here are my pages. Shop the Photo Walk Store. There it is. Look at that. There's all our categories. There's our inventory. There's our similar items. That's all it takes to create an Amazon store. This is Cindy Shubley from the Web Seller Circle. I hope you've enjoyed this tip. Find more at the Web Seller Circle. I hope to see you there.